In the past several weeks, Vermont has seen an uptick in drug-related arrests and then recovery centers have seen more visitors. Local 44's Sam Israel caught up with one in Burlington to see how it is handling the rise in visits. Several criminal arrests involving drugs are being seen all across the Green Mountain State. In a recent press release from Milton Police, around 10,000 bags of heroin containing fentanyl were confiscated in early May. Other similar cases were reported in Washington County and Burlington over the past several months. For those who are struggling with addiction, the Turning Point Center in Burlington is here to lend a helping hand. They can come in, feel connected, feel understood, um, which can plant a seed of hope for people, um, provide them a sense of belonging, a sense of meaning and opportunities uh, to grow and to change. The executive director says he typically sees fewer cases during summer seasons, but this year things are different. He believes the pandemic is partly the blame. It's really the isolation. Cam Loft knows the importance of being there for others. He himself started as a volunteer at the Turning Point Center to begin his own road to recovery. I fell in love with um, being able to uh, share a space with people that all have the same understanding that they can uh, empathize with where I'm at in my recovery. It was a way that I could connect with others that I felt as if I wasn't able to do previously. Loft says that addiction happens very gradually and can go undetected. One of the ways that I looked at it was uh, being stuck in a, in a riptide and being pulled out to sea. Um, that you want to go swimming, you want to do things that are, you know, fun, um, but then it traps you. He tells those who are battling to never give up. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. If you can't crawl, do whatever it takes to keep moving forward. And he encourages those who need help to reach out. Sam Israel, Local 44 News.